There is some dangerous, dangerous stuff going on right now uh, in America. Some of my quote unquote friends on Facebook um, are really starting to really starting to push the lines of, of my tolerance. Uh, and I, and, you know, I'm not talking about, you know, accepting lifestyles and stuff like that. Live your life. That's fine. But now it's coming to personal attacks. Um, even though they say, oh, it's not, it's not personal. It's not you. Well, yeah, it is. When you're comparing conservative Christians to the Taliban, uh, that, no. That does not, e there's not even an, a, compa a comparison there. The Taliban, a terrorist organization that regularly rapes women, dehumanizes women, beheads Christians, beheads people who don't even agree with them. And, you know, then we've got, you know, this, this comparison that, um, that any conservatives here are just like the just like the Taliban. The danger is when you start drawing parallels between enemies at home, enemies at home, and enemies abroad, you can justify treating the enemies at home just like you did the enemies abroad. So when are we going to start? Uh, expecting, you know, military strikes on conservative Christians. Are they going to call in drone strikes? Are they going to start using surveillance drones on, on Christians? Since they're terrorists and enemies of the state? I mean, where where is the line? Do you see the dangers of this? And then when there's, you know, then, then when there's people saying stuff like this. Why should our soldiers be fighting radicals in a civil war in Afghanistan? We've got our own on Capitol Hill. It's just, it is just ridiculous. Um, I mean, gosh, it's almost like, it's almost like they want, they want conflict. They want people to be upset. Who knows? Maybe even they want a civil war. I hope and pray that that never happens. But you cannot compare people in America to the Taliban. You cannot compare Christians and conservatives who ultimately just want to be left alone and live their God-given lives to people who oppress, who are the definition of evil. Because when you draw that comparison, when you say that conservative Christians are the same as the Taliban. You justify treating conservative Christians just like we did the Taliban. 20 years ago when we invaded Afghanistan, killed tens of thousands, and pretty much ran them out of the country. Is that what we're gonna do with uh, conservative Christians now? It's, it's dangerous. It's scary. You know, especially when our president is, you know, saying, well, if you want to fight against the government, you're going to need F-16s and nukes. It's, it, this is, gosh. You know, the, some, of the, some of the conservative talking heads were saying, there will come a day when you don't recognize my country. Well, I don't recognize my country right now. We are leaving 10,000 to 15,000 Americans, thousands of Americans behind enemy lines in Afghanistan. We just deserted them. We said, good luck, we're out. 
Not us. Our leadership. We left billions, billions of dollars in equipment. Firearms, vehicles, drones, helicopters. We just left it. It's now all in the hands of the Taliban. Of terrorists. We left all those tens of thousands of people uh, uh, of Afghans who helped us. Translators, um, guides, and, you know, whatever. People who helped us. They helped the Western nations. We left them high and dry. The only fate waiting for them, if they can't escape, is torture um, and death. Hopefully death comes before the torture. Because there's, there's videos coming out of, you know, this, this new Taliban, you know, woke Taliban. I mean, no, 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 no. Saying that they're, they've reformed. No. No, they haven't. They've had 20 years to build up a resentment and a hatred of America. And we just tuck-tailed, let them take back the country in record time, gave them billions of dollars of sophisticated military equipment, and we expect nothing bad to happen from this. Meanwhile, you know, and our southern border has been wide open for the past eight months. And I, who knows how many um, terrorists have come across those lines mixing in with, with um, the other illegal immigrants. Man, my phone's really shaking. It's kind of scary. I don't like this thing, this, this holder. Whatever. I, I gotta switch it out. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's a clown world. It's a messed up world. It's just, how, how can we compare American citizens on American soil to terrorist organizations? Now, are there, are there bad people in America? Yes. Okay. There are people who want to do harm to America. There are American citizens who want to do harm to America. Yes. No one's denying that fact. But drawing it broad stroke blanket statements saying that conservative Christians are terrorists at home and drawing the comparison that the, the riot at the Capitol on January 6th, as horrible as that was, that that is equivalent to terrorist organization. That, oh my gosh. But you know, yeah, January 6th, it was horrible. Every single conservative talking person that I have listened to has all condemned the riots on January 6th. They also said that people who entered the Capitol illegally should be arrested and should be prosecuted. And they are now. But printing broad strokes saying every single person there the ones that are outside um, should be dealt with like we dealt with the Taliban. Where does that where does that road lead? It's it's messed up world. We need God more than ever, and unfortunately, so many so much of the country is just giving up on him. They, they deny him, they, they don't believe in the power of prayer, they don't believe in the power of God, the family, the, the, the nuclear family is under attack. And, and now it's absolutely blatant. I'm talking about toxic monogamy. What? Anyway, please just, gosh, oh, be excellent to each other, please, come on, man.
Super Billy signing out. God be with you till we meet again.